Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Tremaine, and today I'm going to be giving you the spoilers for Young and the Restless for the week of May the 13th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. We also have a membership where you get early access to videos, exclusive videos, uh, news throughout the week, and of course our lives on Fridays where I give you all the spoilers and we have great commentary. Um, and also, before I go ahead and give you these spoilers, happy Mother's Day. So I am recording this on Mother's Day. So to all you mothers out there or soon to be mothers, go in and have a great day today. And let's get right into it where we're going to talk about Monday. Um, on Monday, the big thing that happened was uh, Jill gave Billy her power. So that while Devon and Nate want to push Billy out of the company, Jill has now taken a step back. And as Billy says, she's gone off to go live her life. And now all of the power and control that she had, he has. So Lily is shocked and Devon is just flabbergasted. They don't know what to do, but they're determined to contact Jill to find out if Billy is telling the truth. Now, I did see Monday's episode in advance and I had to hit the fast forward button. I can't tell you exactly what happened as far as the Chelsea, Connor, Adam, Sally situation, because when I see them on the screen, let me tell you, I fast forward so fast. I fast forward so fast. Oh, and I my one of my favorite Young and the Restless couples um, was Chelsea and Adam, and I used to root for them so hard. And then I used to root for Sally and Adam so hard. But this Connor storyline, I just don't care for it. And you know the crying over, you know Connor, um, and how they need to team up as parents and blah blah blah. Yeah, I didn't really care. So. That happened. I didn't watch it. But the other thing that happened is Sally talked to Chloe because she Sally's been using her money to keep their company afloat, but they're in a dire financial situation. And Sally is beginning to think that she needs to close the company. Whereas Chloe's like, you know, just ask Adam for help. And and Sally's like, with everything he's dealing with Connor. She doesn't want to ask Adam for any money to help. And if they're going to save the company, they're going to have to think fast and get creative. And Chloe wonders what Nick will think of losing his investment. So, so that that happened too. But all I gotta say, Monday was just a mixed day of things happening because why did they still have? Danny and Christine on the show. Danny has been leaving for this concert since December. It's June. So um, wrap it up, please. I thought he was already gone. But now they had this big scene on Monday where Phyllis is, was teasing Christine slash Cricket that, you know, she chose her career over Danny and, you know, she just didn't want Danny to be with her. And then Christine's like, here you go, you know, talking and not knowing what you're talking about. Danny suddenly appears and she's like, plot twist. I actually decided to not take the case. And me and Danny are leaving today to go on tour. And... This has been such a poorly written triangle that I just needed to end. Now, if they gave Danny and Christine something real to do, gave them a real storyline, gave them some real drama, or had them like really invested with the other characters, they could stay all day long. But in a triangle with Phyllis, with her pulling the fire alarms and all the kind of stuff like she's like a, like she's a teenager no no thank you no thank you i'm glad it's over but i wouldn't be shocked if they showed up again like 
is this really it? Because they've been saying, talking about leaving. And what was the whole thing about Christine potentially taking a taste and not going away with Danny? And then we don't see them for like a week or two. And then she's like, plot twist, I'm going actually. To me, it just showed how underdeveloped the storyline was. And it really, truly has no impact in my opinion, because it wasn't really written, like even Danny, when he was caught between the two women, he just didn't really seem to know what he wanted. And that was not compelling. You know, they could have brought the kids into it, taken sides and, you know, that could have been life and death situations. You know, it could have, the soap opera could have soaked. But moving on <laughs> beyond Tuesday, of course, I haven't seen the rest of the week, so I'll just give you the the um, spoilers, the spoiler teasers. Tuesday, Lily received shocking news from Jill. I'm sure that shocking news is that Billy told the truth. Daniel swallows his pride and Audra questions Tucker's loyalty. Wednesday, Ashley's alters devise a dangerous plan. Well, <clears throat> there's only really one alter, Miss Abbott, um, that devises dangerous plans. Sally finds herself at a crossroads, and Tucker proves himself to Devon. Thursday, Phyllis plans to support Daniel backfires. That's something I want to see, because I know there are a lot of people that are like, you know, uh, Lily's being petty. Daniel and Heather, she should just leave them alone and give them their company. So there should be no repercussions. Lily should just be like, oh, okay, you cheated on me. You know, while I was away helping my daughter, I come in, come back home, and y'all having dinner, like, happy family. That he could have, if Daniel, who's supposed to be a good guy on the show, could have at least waited to jump into bed with Heather until after he broke up with Lily. It's not like he ain't never done it before <laughs> with Heather. So, you know... Under different circumstances, and I think even if it was done to a different character, I think there would be some fans that would be like, get him, Lily, get him. Because when he first cheated on Lily on social media, people were hating him, saying how oh, he's such a dirty dog and, you know, he shouldn't have done this. And Lily's been through so much and but, but as soon as Lily retaliates, it's like, oh, why are you? To retaliate, retaliating against um, Daniel. How dare you? So that's a mess. Um, so that's why I want to see how it backfires because it's a fictional company. It's a fictional video game. If he loses it, it's not like he's losing it in real life. So it creates more drama. And then once again, just like the Phyllis and Danny and Christine situation where I felt like the story was underdeveloped, when's the last time we've seen Heather and Lily confront each other? When is the last time we've seen Lily and Daniel in a confrontation? This isn't even like a, a strong back and forth. So, <clears throat> so it sweeps. So I guess we'll get the answer to what's going to happen with Daniel Audra makes a power move and Abby's loyalty is tested. And finally on Friday, Victor's revenge plot against Jordan takes a dangerous turn. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but <clears throat> is Victor going to do something where Jordan actually escapes? Or will Victor sick Jordan on Jack? You know, because even if Victor said, look, I'll let you out to sell Jordan, all you got to do is go after Jack. We know in real life, <laughs> as soon as she's escaped, she's going right after Nikki <laughs> and to get back in Victor. So I don't know how this is going to play out, but um, let me know in the comment section how you think that Victor will use Jordan, especially with the Friday spoiler that it takes a dangerous turn. Nick confides in Phyllis uh, and Kyle vetoes Summer's decision about Claire. 
And that is one of the things that I've actually been enjoying. I feel like during the wrestlers have gotten a lot better. As I said on my live with the members, when it comes to diversity, young wrestler sucks. But when it but the actual plots that we have been getting, the soap's been soaping. And I've enjoyed Summer losing her mind over Claire. And technically, now you can tell me in the comment section because I couldn't remember, members couldn't remember if Summer actually adopted um, Harrison or was she just his mother by default because she was married to Kyle? Because I think it would be an interesting twist if Kyle's like, I'm his biological father, you're not even his stepmother anymore. Um, if I want Claire to be the nanny, then she's the nanny. And because I would love to see Summer's reaction because she's almost old and beautiful level, broken record. My son Harrison, my son Harrison, my son Harrison. Oh, my son, my son, my son. She hasn't said my son this much since she met the boy. <laughs> so, so a lot of people wanted Tara um, Harrison's biological mother to get out of jail. Um, they were like, this is the perfect time for that. But mm, not really with Claire in the picture. Um, I think the Claire angle is more interesting than the Tara angle. And if they did bring Tara back, please bring a new actress because the other Tara could not act. She's She was flow level acting. And y'all know, if you watch my Bold and Beautiful videos back in the day, I hated me some flow. She's a beautiful woman, you know, and that's it. As an actress, no. <laughs> and the same thing with Tara. They're both very beautiful women, but they need acting lessons. So with that, I'm going to close it out and turn it over to you in the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.